Hey guys, what is going on? Noah here back with another video and today we have a video that's I think pretty cool. I'm going to be reviewing some sodas that I haven't seen being reviewed much um, and let you know my honest opinion. This camera is not wanting to. There we go. Um, I'm going to give you my honest opinion if you should pick it up or if you should not. This angle might be weird. I don't want to play with the camera too much because that's annoying, but there, that looks better. So we are going to be looking at how many different ones do we have. We have five different characters. Um, one of them I think has been seen a little bit, but I haven't noticed the chase being pulled um, in like the PFO community, like the very tight group um, that I'm subscribed to. So I wanted to show off this chase. I have a common in a chase. I have a chase that I need the common for and just a couple commons. So six sodas total. And I want to give my honest review if you should pick them up or if you should leave them. If you, if you collect all the sodas just like me and you go for all of them, then again, I recommend picking up these. Um, because there's some really great sodas here. But we're going to start off with the ones I only have commons for. Because we have a total of three chases out of the six here. Um, so we're going to start off with this one, which is Kirito. Now, my friend, actually, he wants to come in really badly. I'm keeping an eye out for him. If you're watching, I really am. Um, but... He pulled the chase. I, I unfortunately just got the common from pop culture, but let's show the pog. Now, it's weird because they did not make any internationals of this guy whatsoever. Uh, and I know this because I did some research, but also pop culture um, usually has international soda. That's where I got some of these ones because... And one of these is only where I live in Canada. It's super weird. You guys will probably eventually get it. I've heard it's discontinued or something. We'll we'll see how it plays out. But we're just going to start it off with a simple one. Kirito. Very sick soda. I really do like all the details on this. The chase is metallic and has a second sword. Um, congratulations uh, to my friend who's watching this video. I know he is. Um, but next up, we are going to be looking at this character. Uh, we have Aquaman. Uh, this one is soon to be in the U.S. Like, I'm surprised it's not yet. Um, I got this one at Christmas. I had it, pre like, ordered two months ago, and it was in stock two months ago. But here's Aquaman, just another international common. This is our first international common. That was the regular one, but we'll take a look at Aquaman. Um, and Kirito, do I think you should pick it up or not? I would honestly say, I, I don't know how many of you actually do know the character, but for Kirito, I'd say pick it up because of all the detail on this figure. I say pick it up. Next, uh, as I showed you, is Aquaman. Now, take a look at this figure. I have not seen any reviews on him. Um, I think maybe, um, maybe if there's some Australian YouTubers, um, they might have got it and uh, reviewed it. Um, but yeah, Aquaman, really cool soda. I would honestly recommend picking it up. It looks, it looks super great. And it would go along in, um, a lot of people's DC collections, which I, I'm gonna be doing a video soon with all my OG sodas. So, that will probably be in a couple days that that video will drop. Uh, will drop, but we have a couple boxes coming in as well. So, it was supposed to be here today. It wasn't, unfortunately, but that should be the tomorrow's video if it comes. Let's hope it does, but... Next, we're going to do this one. Now, this one I have seen a little bit of, but not too much. It is Barrel. Um, so, I, I have seen a little bit of reviews, but not really a detailed look or like a, um, or the chase. So, it's unmasked. Unmasked. Now, right now, I do not have the common. I do have a common coming in the mail. Uh, spoiler alert. So, that will be in a video coming soon. Um, but take a look. So this is him unmasked. He's a very small soda. This is like a standard size soda Aquaman. And just to give you a little size comparison there, it's a pretty, he's a pretty small soda. Um, but he is a very good one. So this is what the common looks like. And that's what the chase looks like. So really cool figure. I would definitely pick some of these up. I think this is one of my favorite Nightmare Before Christmas sodas, to be honest. I really do enjoy this one a lot. And it was really hard for me to get. Hot Topic got it. I picked up one knowing that I had a common on the way just for fun. Um, because that deal wasn't for sure yet. And I pulled the chase. So I was like, perfect. 
Uh, next up, we're going to save this one till the end because that's the most controversial um, soda right now, in my opinion. Um, so next up, we are going to be taking a look at Oil Can Harry. Now, we showed two cans. I think you guys know what that means. Uh, I opened a couple of these on Christmas. No, wait. We're going to just open both cans. Uh, I opened one on Christmas, and I pulled the Chase, so I went back and got the Common. So here's the Common Pog. We'll compare, we'll show off the pogs of both. And now here's the chase. The chase is one of 750. So it's pretty, pretty limited, honestly. Now let's start taking the figures out. We'll put all the bubble wrap and the black bag back in both cans. Um, I recommend keeping your black bags. I uh, recommend this to a lot of people. Keep your black bags and put it in the can beside the figure. It helps with protection and it will keep your soda safe. So here is the common with top hat holding whiskers and a cane. And this is the chase where he's a hand behind his back like that holding his whiskers. No hat. So really cool soda. I, honestly, I recommend picking this up. I don't know how big of a popular character he is. I really do think this soda does look cool though. Last but not least, this one has a lot of people confused in America, um, and then us, uh, where I live, um, in Canada or Ontario, uh, these have been popping up everywhere, so if you live in Ontario, go to your comic book stores, I recommend, um, because that's where these are hitting, so we have Edward. Now, this soda is from Cowboy Bebop. I've got a lot of questions about that. Um, it is an international soda limited to 6,000 pieces. That is what the common looks like because I do not have the common. Uh, I will be getting the common very shortly because I do need it and then it's perfect, Paul, hopefully. Um, but here is the Pog, one of 1,000. And the chase is Edward with Ian. N. It's E-I-N. Um, I don't know what Cowboy Bebop is. Uh, this popped up on K-Dog and Fish. I think they still might have some if you guys are interested in this figure. I don't know if they ship outside of Canada. They are really good friends of mine. I recommend giving them some support because they are an amazing company. This is not sponsored. Um, but let's take a look at Edward. So here is Edward with the little puppy, that's the chase, with the puppy. The regular just doesn't have it, and if you're wondering, they are connected. I, a lot of people haven't showed this. He's there, and then if you want to look at the foot, they're just kind of connected like that. Um, but I recommend picking that soda up. I hope it does, I hope it, it'd be cool if it's unreleased, like it's gonna not be in America just because it will be more valuable. Um, but I really do hope if you do want that soda, you guys can get your hands on it. So. All of these I recommend picking up. Um, I recommend picking up all sodas because I think they all look good. Um, one soda I wanted to mention this that I actually don't like is Baxter. I'm not a fan of Baxter. I know a lot of people love Baxter. Um, but he is actually one of my least favorite sodas. Um, but I still recommend picking it up because it's good to add to your collection. Um, uh, but make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe and have a great day as always.